Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for tuning into my channel. For today's video, we will be making the buckle for the belt that I made yesterday. This is what I'll be using. This is already my sublimated image. And um, I'll be using my heavyweight um, boards. I'll be using some glitter um, vinyl and some white vinyl. And I will also be using the rhinestone mesh, the which I will have right now before... before um, um, doing this uh, process that i'm going to do i just need and uh, want to remind you that in order to be able to upload something to design space you already have to have it downloaded to the device you have the um, design space on okay let's get this video started what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking on upload from here click on upload image click on browse click on your image click on open click on continue click on remove background click on apply and continue Click on single layer, click on continue, click on upload. Now we come back to upload and we do the same process. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 and now we're going to get flat graphic. Click on continue, click on upload. You see, the reason I have to do it like that is because notice right here, I click on the image and it does not give me the option to contour. So the only way I would be able to get this for what I want it is if I uh, add an offset. But if I add an offset, that means that it'll be uh, you'll be able to see an offset around Mr. Joe. And I don't want that. So that's the reason I did it how I did it. Okay, so now we're going to change both the, the image and the, the silhouette. We're going to change it into 2.5 by Okay, so now we're going to leave this there. Now we come to shapes. We get an oval. And we change the size to 4.5 by 3.5. And you need another oval you can either go back to shapes or you can just duplicate the one you already have and change the size to four by three so this one right here we're going to go ahead and uh, and duplicate it but let me get to this real quick select both Click on align, click on center, now I want my big oval, 
and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that one. I'm going to put it aside. Now I'm going to click on both of these, click on slice. I'm going to duplicate this one. That one's going to be white. This one's going to be um, poster board. This will be, the white will be glitter. Now we're going to click on that one and just delete. This one, we're going to duplicate it. That one's going to stay gray because that's going to be my silver uh, glitter. The one on the back will be pink because that's my poster board. So there we go. Let's select both of them. That's how it'll go. And this one, the one we put to the side, this one's going to be our pink because everything is going to be glued on to, all of this is going to be glued on to this one. Now go back to images, I mean shapes. Get you a square, rectangle, whichever one you'd like. It's not letting me. Oh my. It's not letting me choose it. Let me see if it'll work now. No, let me just get another one. Hopefully this one it does. Nope, it's not letting me there. There we go. Okay. Now let's stretch it. Won't let me make it bigger. Okay, let me let make it bigger from here. So I'm gonna want the width at 2.7. And my height at two. And I could still make it a little bigger, but it's not giving me the option to stretch it. It doesn't want to work. There. Okay. Taking a little, there we go, stretch it. This will be glued to the back. There we go. And that one, we're going to turn it into pink. So this is going to be glued to the back of this one. Let's delete this one. Okay, so there we have it. And this is how it's going to be. Oops, the size. Let me put it back at 2.5. There we go. So we have the image at 2.5. And then we have the silhouette. And we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to duplicate the silhouette. This one, I'm going to make it in a color that I remember that will be my sparkly vinyl. And then the one in the back, I don't know why it's, let me get it from here. Okay, the one in the back will be pink because that's going to be my poster board. So I'm going to iron my sparkly vinyl onto my poster board. And I'm going to uh, heat press Mr. Joe. He press uh, sublimate Mr. Joe onto the sparkly vinyl. Let me go ahead and select all of it. 
duplicate them so he can just come to the front right there delete that and there we have it there's our buckle right there now we're going to click on make it let's save the project This one, since I already have it, I'm not, I don't need to worry about it. But if I were going to be making it right now with my, uh, with my, with my sublimating, um, printer, then I would need to mirror it, but I'm not going to worry about mirroring it since I will not be using it. Now I will be mirroring this. I will be mirroring that. I will be mirroring everything. There we go. So now we're ready to uh, start printing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing my uh, poster board and my mat is, isn't very sticky. So I will be using a little bit of tape. This is painter's tape, in case you ever need to use tape like me right now. Let me pause it real quick. Oh, I'm adding the tape. Let me pause it real quick. Okay, so I have the Cricut uh, Air 2, and that's where I set my, uh, for my poster board. Now it will just be fitting it. As soon as it, the light starts blinking. It's taking a little bit. Please hold. Okay, so as you can see, it, it's telling me to print and calibrate, but this is if I would be doing the, sublima the sublimation. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click on cancel. Are you sure? Yes. And then cancel. And then I'm going to click on Mr. Joe here, and I'm going to go ahead and delete him. Anyway, this is all I need because I already have the sublimated Im image. So I'm going to click on make it again. And I'm going to mirror everything. Once I mirror everything, I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so my button is ready. It's already blinking. I just make sure that I get my mat good. Now click on the blinking button and it'll start doing my poster board cuts. Alrighty, so they're all ready. I just have to take them off. I'm going to be cutting my glitter, my glitter. This is the setting I use right here. Right there. My light is horrible and hor here, hold on, I don't know where, it, right there. I don't know what it reads, let me. Give me a bit. Okay, so I have it on the light cardstock setting. This is my glitter HTV. I just put it in here, make sure that it is on right. Okay. 
Okay, ready. So this one is ready now. All I have to do is peel this. And it's ready to be ironed. I'm going to put it aside and go to my next one. Now it's my glitter HTV. take it off and this one too get it from here and just peel off and I peel this I save this because most of my my buckles are the same size so I can always change colors for buckles and this is my glitter as you can see this is HTV so HTV the shiny part goes down there's some HTV that has to be cut just as if it was Oracle so watch out for those HTVs always always read the instructions for the HTV HTV you purchase okay so I'm just gonna put it in Oh, wow, this cricket is fast. <laughs> Alrighty. And for this one, I should have changed the setting to, um, to HTV. And I forgot, I left it on the cardstock. But it's still, it's still good. That's my image. Alrighty, let's get to the next step. Alrighty, so now we're getting ready to iron this. And remember, this is my cardstock. This is my glitter HTV. And I already have these that I will be ironing too. Uh, since I'm going to be using the sublimated image and I don't want to mess it up, I will be using my, my heat press. I just got to line it real good. Make sure it's nicely aligned. Everything's good. Get my... Uh, um, touch that paper, count to 10, press on it a lot, put a lot of pressure on it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to do this one. I don't know which is the side because one is kind of yellowish and the other one's lighter. to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 
remember side is yellowish line it real good See, that's why it's very important that you have a little piece left so that this doesn't happen. See how it kind of comes up? If I would have had a little bit of uh, that Teflon left, I can stick the Teflon and it'll help hold it down. But since I didn't change the setting and it cut it like this, now I'm having a hard time. I don't know. Do it real quick. One two, three, and come to ten. Okay. Now we take it off. And you can't see it, but it's sparkly. Okay, now we're going to put add Mr. Joe we got to make sure that we have them the right way. I want to make sure that I don't see any other color. See how that's how I turn it around. This one we will leave for 60 seconds. left it for 70 just to be on the safe side now we peel it off it's hot and there we have them now you will be right there this will go right there and well, we have the other one that will go back here. And let's get back to that.